subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Invest 96P by our estimates is now a tropical storm heading towards Fiji and is currently located around 14.7 degrees south, 176 degrees east as of 8 a.m. Fiji time this January the 29th. Currently, 96P has winds of 40 miles per hour, a pressure of 995 millibars, it's moving east-southeast at 15 miles per hour, and a CDPS stage rating of 3. And here's the breakdown of that stage 3 rating for Fiji. Wind speed and storm size are low, rainfall potential is major to extreme, and the overall threat to land is moderate. A stage 3 on the CDPS scale means that significant damage is possible where the storm makes landfall. Here are the current wind fields of 96P. Not much to go over here, it's only 45 nautical miles to the northeast quadrant of the system. Uh, again, 40 miles per hour, 995 millibars is the current intensity estimate uh, from Force 13. Here's the current distances in miles, uh, 205 nautical miles. To uh, from Nadi, 270 nautical miles from Suva, 268 nautical miles from Labasa, 202 miles from Ba, and 230 miles from Lekutu. There are currently no tropical alerts in effect for this tropical storm. Here are the current intensity estimates of 96P. Uh, Force 13, again, we are sitting at 40 miles per hour for our estimate. And the JCWC has a, has a tropical depression at around 35 miles per hour. Here's the latest cone from Fiji. We can see a category one on the AU scale coming in on the 31st. Uh, that's a low end tropical storm. And you can see the wind field there, pretty widespread and it could affect the entire area around Fiji. And here's the current sea surface temperatures for 96P. Uh, very warm all the way up to landfall in Fiji. Uh, they'll slowly degrade as it heads further south after landfall. Here's the current wind swath from the HWRF model. You can see a little blip of a 65 knot there. Mostly tropical storm force winds though. Here's the rainfall. You can see widespread heavy rainfall for the islands of Fiji. And here's the multi-mile diagnostic comparison chart. You can see most models here on the intensity. Keep it at tropical storm strength. Uh, deep layer shear this is one of the main reasons we don't expect it to get really strong. It is expected to rise tremendously as we end January. SSTs expected to drop after landfall, of course, as you would expect. Mid-level relative humidity staying around the same. And there's the you can see the tracks of different models there. Here's the current satellite view of 96P. You can see very good looking right now. It's got a good bubble convection on it. It's actually had a pretty good blow up of convection since the sun has come up. Preparation should be complete in the next day or so for this system in Fiji as conditions will start to deteriorate soon as this storm uh, gets closer to Fiji. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned to 413 for more updates not only on 96B but the rest of the tropical threats in the southern hemisphere.